Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar on 3rd of April administered oath to 12 newly elected members of the upper house. The oath was administered in the Parliament House where Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Harivansh and Secretary General PK Modi were present. India aims to increase its nuclear power production to 1 lakh megawatt by 2047, a significant jump from the current 8,000 megawatt. This goal was highlighted by the Atomic Energy Commission Chairman A.K. Mohanty at the release of a report on energy transitions. Maximum temperatures have surged to alarming levels, particularly affecting Vidarbha, parts of South Chhattisgarh, Telangana, and parts of North Karnataka. Numerous areas in Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu are also experiencing scorching conditions. Oil to Telecom conglomerate Reliance Industries Limited head Mukesh Ambani continues to be the richest Indian and has now broken into the world's top 10 wealthiest persons in the latest Forbes 2024 billionaire list. Ambani, who is aged 66, is ranked 9th on the list. National Conference President and sitting MP from Srinagar, Farooq Abdullah, would not contest the Lok Sabha polls this year owing to his health. His party reported this on Wednesday. North Korea on Wednesday tested a new hypersonic intermediate-range missile powered with solid propellants, extending a run of weapons tests that deepening a nuclear standoff with neighbors and the United States. Maldives President Mohamed Mizu has said that Indian military personnel manning the second aviation platform would be withdrawn within the current month and reiterated that the entire process would be completed by 10th of May. The strongest earthquake in quarter century rocked Taiwan during the morning rush hour on Wednesday, killing nine people, trapping dozens of miners and sending some residents cramming out of windows of their damaged buildings. A tsunami warning was also triggered but later on was lifted. Delhi capital skipper Rishav Pant has been fined Rs 24 lakh for maintaining a slow overrate for the second consecutive time in the IPL 2024 during their loss Kolkata Knight Riders on 3rd of April in Vaisag. Kolkata produced a blistering onslaught against Delhi on Wednesday, posting a mammoth 272 of 7 in 20 overs. It was the second highest team total in history of the T20 league. This comes a week after Hyderabad scored 277 against Mumbai, the highest total in the history of the league. 